Yes, 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 yes. Just a quick live, man. 20 past 11 at night, yeah. And uh, I just got back from the gym. I had a good workout in the gym, you know, I've got back on the boxing. I've trained three days in a row and I've just got back, so um, yeah. Someone says, where's the chicken burger? So I've just got back from the gym, yeah, two hours. In fact, let me show you my little video that I recorded the other day. Let me show you this video, yeah. You know me on the bags. Signed up to this gym called JD Sports Gym, yeah. It's 20 pounds a month. It's got a nice punch bag in there, a couple of punch bags, yeah. I've been smashing up the bags. Some nice women there as well. Like, look at this. This, is, this isn't me, this is Carl Froch. I think I can take him, you know. Looks a bit slow. You know, back in the days, me and him used to share a big red bag, heavy bag, and he used to put dents in it, but he looks a bit soft here. He don't seem to be putting a dent, you know, in the bag. Like he did back in the days in Nottingham when we used to train together. Did you lot message him, you know, saying that I wanted to have a pint with him? And if so, what was his response? But anyway, forget that. Have a look at me, see what I'm doing here. See if I look better than Paul Froch. Sounds like it's being hit harder than Carl Frost, you know what I mean? And there's a dent in the bag as well, isn't it? You see that dent? Yeah, man. See that? See the power? 15 stone, man. I think I could do Frost. My lungs were burning though, you know. Really fucking burning, you know, from all the cigarettes and the vaping and all that. <sighs> Alright, who we got in here then? Jim McDonald as, as usual. Jim McDonald says, you're looking a bit sloppy on the bag, so you are. I thought I looked alright, you know. I ain't trained for a year, you know, like before my three little sessions this week. I thought I did okay, man. Sweating it out, you know, getting that fucking workout in. Let's have a look at Kel Brook snorting away. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. And then they post it on social media. Horrible. It's not like they betrayed him. It's like he knows he's being recorded. And then he shadow boxes. My, my thing is, who... It's real, man. It's no, real. That's, that, that, that's crazy. It's real coke. Okay, first of all, you know, like he, I said before, he like goes back, he, he snorts a line and then he misses a bit, so he goes back, you know, and fucking gets the rest of it. You see that? You see that little... The bigger issue here, in my opinion, is who is the cornball that he considers a friend that will record him doing this and post it to social media? And he obviously knew he was being recorded. That's what I mean. You can't blame the other guy, man. In the, in the gym, there were like people just following him around, you know, laughing at his fucking jokes, like Leonard Ellaby. You know what I mean? Just fucking groupies, just hanging about, trying to get in the spotlight as well. It's, it's like that crocodile, you know, with Mike Tyson back in the day. But you know, Dominic, he said like, Kel is kind of crash bang wallop. And because he's like that, because he's kind of reckless, that made him a good fighter, so. Take the rough with the smooth, man. Did you see that interview with Coogan and Anthony Yard? It was quite good, you know. Probably deserves more than 15,000 views because this video was a long time ago as well. So it, should, it was a good chat. People are saying uh, Anthony Yard quit, you know, against um, 
Baturbiev. I think that's true. He kind of locked away, but. The referee was like, lift your gloves up, man. You know, show me that you want to fight, and he didn't. It's kind of like Joshua against Ruiz, you know, in the first fight. Someone says, nice to see Top G made it to the home screen picks 100. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's... I don't know why it took me so long. You know, to put a picture of the true fucking Top G in there. Did that Chinese food taste like dog ball sack? Yeah. I had a Chinese last night and I put the video on Instagram and... Uh, Oh, let me get some of these comments on the screen, man. Someone said I was laughing so hard at the Chinese food laughing face. Yeah, when I was eating it, I was kind of thinking, I bet there's loads of dogs in this fucking Chinese. You know, these Chinese people, they eat dogs, don't they? You know, every year they've got like a dog festival where they fucking eat dogs. It's disgusting, man. Yes, woo wee. Thanks for the two pound super chat, yeah? You heard of the Toy Box Killer introduction tape? No, no, I've watched the documentary about that guy. He locked women in toy boxes and just fucking cut their nipples off and started acting mad. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up, you know. It's been it's been nice. Just a quick one, innit? Yo, I've missed some super chats, you know. Let me just scroll back here. I'm a bit all over the place. It's just random. Yes, Matthew. Ten pounds, yeah. Yo, Ty, review your stand-up vid. I remember this guy from the last live. He gave me a tenner in it, you know, and asked me to review my stand-up. But I'd already ended the live stream, yeah. So he sent me a tenner, and I kind of missed it. So we might have to, we might have to give him what he wants. He, he's giving me a load of cash, you know that Matthew. So yeah, call a brass bro. Tell the pimp you're gonna knock him spark out. So. Let me just show you this. I've been messaging this prostitute here. Let me show you she is. I bought her around here before. You know that? Can you see that? She's been around here before, yeah. I gave her a tenner in it for a blowjob. She don't look like that. She's fucked up. She's a heroin addict. You know those photos? They look half decent, don't they? But you can tell she's drugged up. She's put the same photo twice, but she's a mess. She was desperate. She was following me around the streets saying, oh, do you want, do you want sex? 10 pound, come on, we can go back to mine. She was like really following me and I just thought, fuck it. I'll just bring her back here. Brought her back here, yeah, gave her a tenner. Got a little cheeky blowjob off her. And then like, I said to her, do you want another tenner to link my ass? And obviously a tenner's a lot in it to drug addicts. That's how they get their next fix, you know what I mean? So she 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 accepted, you know, and I fucking <clears throat> got rimmed, you know, by that. But I messaged her, yeah. What did I say? I tried to get on the stream. I said to her. £20 if you can get to Firth Park, that's where I live in it. And she said, Come to mine. And I said, Get a taxi and I'll give you 40 quid. So, yeah. Let's see what she says, man. I used to pretend I was Kel Brock, you know, my profile. You know my dating that profile and Kel said like come on because I told Kel that I've made him as my profile pic and he didn't really he didn't like it he was like time you're a legend yeah this isn't really legendary just having a nice time here after the gym 